indeed. Charlie Redmond, the latest one to come out there, and Dermot DC will be the full back this afternoon. That's uh, very much D Day in more senses than one. Will the Dubs and their fans up there in Hill 16, will they see a side bridging an 11 year gap? DJ Kane leads out the Ulster champion, champions in 91 as well. Unbeaten in championship finals. Four times they've been here, four times they've won. DJ was telling me in Yuri last week that he doesn't want to be the first captain of a down team to come here to the final and to lose. Dalhaven unchanged team from that which began against Paul Gaiman Burns has recovered sufficiently from a leg injury and returns to replace his first half substitute John Kelly. His namesake Brian Burns also plays for the Bryansford club but they're not related and that's uh, the position also with the McCartans, Gregory and James. Part of the same clan but again unrelated. In all 11 of the team faced either the 1991 final, the newcomers being McGill and Burns at the full back line, McCartan in midfield and Aidan Farrell at full forward. Dublin deliberated over a small list of injured players and in the end made just one change in personnel. The luckless Kieran Walsh, who was poised to play in his 15th championship match, is ruled out with a groin strain. Paul Curran has recovered from a fractured jaw and takes the number four shirt in a switch with Paddy Moran. In all, 11 of this team played in the 1992 final, but only John O'Leary, Keith Barr and Al Guide retained the same positions. However, as always, with the Dubs, there's the prospect of a switch or two. Sugar having a good look to see where everybody is. Works everybody back inside the 45 meter line. The All Ireland final is underway. And straight away it's Brian Steins back towards Pat Gilroy. Fumbled by Keith Barr but recovered. Struggling to get away from the attentions there of Greg Blaney who was hitting out. Nice ball inside towards Desi Fowler. Quick transfer. Paul Clark lobbing it forward there towards Mick Galvin. Got the goal of the season against Leitrim. Well, that's so far. Maybe there's another one. Charlie Redmond, Dublin's first attack. Plenty of players in there. That's gone wide. Good long ball. Now the hop here, deceiving. Paul Curran, Mickey Linden, the vice captain of this down team. Paddy Moran coming out, but unable to beat Gregory McCartan. McCartan kicking, looking for the first score, and it just goes over John O'Leary's crossbar. Down go in front. Bill Linden really is one of the paciest players in senior Gaelic football. Once again, the point from our camera inside the goal. Billy Murphy. Free to Dublin. Referee really up with the play very smartly. Taken quickly across towards Desi Farrell's corner. And Paul Higgins has shown himself in the past to be a very good man marker. Paul Clark kicking. And that's gone through the post and over. Paul Clark has got to be marked by James McCartan, or maybe it should be the other way around. And when McCartan goes very deep indeed. Desi Farrell appreciated that Clark is a very good shooter. That's a good point. It will not suit down at all if uh, players like James McCarthy and Greg Blaney start to come too deep. Gregory McCarthy. Once again, it's Paul Clark. This time, Eamon Burns picks it up. A bit of work here for the uh, corner forward, Gary Mason, to get at. Paddy Moran, belted in well, fisted away by Charlie Redmond. Niall Guyton now popping up on the right-hand side. That's the end for Desi Farrell. Looked around, considered the return pass, gives it back to Niall Guyton. And we're getting tight, goalkeeper out. 
and that's gone off the uh, defender for 45. Neil Collins switching the kick out towards Gregory McCartan. Likely to pop up anywhere. Now for Dave Farrell. To Greg Blaney. The stars of 91. Nicely in towards Mickey Linden, who's been isolated inside there. Linden getting free. Chance of an equaliser. And he's put it over. That was very close indeed. A point then for Mickey Linden. And the sides are level. Deep one inside towards Vinnie Murphy. You have to see the best of Vinnie. Watch to near the goalkeeper. Eamon Burns. Gathered up here by Keith Barr. Niall Guiden. Mike Steins back again to Niall Guiden. Now to Jack Sheedy. Scoring not normally the best part of his game, but this is much, much better. Jack Sheedy took his time. Very accurate kick, and it's five points to three. Steins attempting to fetch. Vinnie Murphy fisting it ahead. Desi Farrell having difficulty in the recent conditions holding on. That will be a down ball. Gregory McCarthy been reminded by the linesman Paddy Russell to take it back. Knocked forward well. Here's Mickey Linden. Here's a goal chance. James McCarthy rolls it in. sideline kick and when Mickey Lynn was in the clear he could have gone for the goal himself but unselfishly he placed James McCartan ball very slippery and Greg Blaney running into the official nicely back and popped over the bar brilliantly so by the full forward Aiden Farrell his first point of the day and the gap widens Paul Higgins coming up to tidy up. Brian Steins. Jack Sheeney calling for it. Greg Blaney coming from behind. The slippery conditions. Not helping Mick Galvin that time. Unless it reaches Desi Farrell. Back towards Galvin again. Slip sliding around the place. I don't know if the correct studs on. Back towards Vinnie Murphy. Kicking. Has he got the range? He has. That'll do Dublin an awful lot of good. Vinny's first this afternoon. Just tied between them. Paul Curran has made a run across towards Paul Clark here. And towards Pat Gilroy. Took it with one hand. Very good. Nicely forward. This is a very enterprising one with Guyden involved. On towards Charlie Redman. Back towards now Guyden. And he had Desi Farrell waiting, but he was in the small rectangle. And it's gone over the bar. There was a real goal chance there. A foul guided from Rahini, more than content with the point. James McCartan spreading it wide. Mickey Linden having some work to do. Greg Blaney is in support if he needs him. Trying to skip away there from Paul Clark. Again, driving in well, making a better angle for himself, and a great score. A second point from Mickey Linden. He is so difficult to tie down. Jack Sheedy touches it down. Vinnie Murphy trying to set the Dublin forwards going. Brian Steins constantly moving into attack. Going for a point himself from a great distance out. That's a wonderful kick by Steins. So the two named midfielders for Dublin, Sheedy and Steins, have now scored. By Gilroy. Jack Sheedy now. This holds some promise. On his left-hand side, that's a great kick. He's kicking wonderfully this afternoon. A second point for the Garda. Once again, just four points between these teams. And the referee saying that's it for the first half. Half-time position here, it's down 1-8, it's 11 points. Dublin 7.